Hello, pop pickers. Um, a second, well, the first was a teaser for the Harry and Meghan series. Oh, I've got another one. This is a trailer. Oh, I thought we had a trailer before. It was a teaser. Was it? Yeah, it was only, it's a, minute. It's only a minute. Was it? Yeah, but it right. felt so much longer. Did, well, because it was boring. No, because it was explosive and spine tingling and goose bumping and horrifying and incredible. And it's just... Housewives of Beverly Hills, let's let's see. Well, apparently this one they go even further. Apparently, um, he, uh, Harry well, doesn't... Well, don't tell us, let's Well, no, but Harry doesn't pull his punches at all in this don't one. No, but no, but one of the things I was entertaining was the thought that Netflix have kind of taken control of this now and are, go are going for the jugular. Because this could be the most watched documentary, or probably is going to be the most watched documentary in Netflix's history. It could end up being the most watched programme in Netflix's history. So, you know, Netflix might be going for the jugular, there's the question as to how much Harry and Meghan are involved with the timing. But the fact of the matter remains, whatever they show us, they've said, and they're using in the show. So I do think if it, if it was cynical, the release of it on the day that William and Kate were doing the Earthshot Awards, I think that's a shame because they're environmentalists as well. And, you know, it, 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 did did, distract it distracted from it. Mm. So that if that is true, that they, you know, Mm. They did that on post. I think that's a little bit naughty. So shall we watch it? Yeah, let's have a look. Let's do it. I'm sorry, Megan and Harry, however much you say, this isn't a reality show. This is a serious documentary. People are looking at it as a reality show and they're wanting to see inside your cupboards. They're wanting to see your handbags and your shoes and, and your nannies. And your sunglasses. Okay, well, having said all of that, this is called The Trailer, but it's also only one minute, 20 seconds. So let's do that. It's really hard to look back on it now and go, what on earth happened? You hear that? That is the sound of hearts breaking all around the world. She's becoming a royal rock star. And then... Everything changed. There's a hierarchy of the family. You know, there's leaking, but there's also planting of stories. There was a war against Meghan to suit other people's genders. It's about hatred. It's about race. It's a dirty game pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution, this feeding frenzy. I realized they're never going to protect you. I was terrified. I didn't want history to repeat itself. No one knows the full truth. We know the full truth. Oh, oh hell. my God. What? This is going to... This is the most incendiary device that's going to sit under the royal family. This is going to blow everything to pieces. You know what I think he's really doing as well? I think he's speaking for his mother. Well, they showed footage of his mum, but how will William feel about that? It's their mum. Imagine that. Imagine it's kind of a shared trauma and a shared issue. And I, I would they... feel incredibly taken advantage of if the footage of my mother was used, who's died in the way that she has. Clearly with no consultation. Okay, it's in the public realm, but that is a huge thing. But imagine if in the past Harry and William have had conversations that went like, if only we could tell the truth from our side about our mother. And part of this story is that truth. Yes, yeah, so it might not be that none of it's the truth. I mean, William, I'm not saying, I don't think for a minute William's condoning any of this or saying, but, you know, saying, oh yeah, you know, to tell our mother's story, but Jesus. I mean, he says stories are planted. Wow. Well, we are not, you know, naive. There are stories yeah, planted there will be all leaks. the time. Of course, no, but he said there are leaks, but there are plants. Yes, the press office will manipulate the press to some degree. There's always manipulation. The government does it. Political parties do it. Celebrities do it. But, he, can... but you know, when he says he's terrified, I am not with the naysayers that say he's being a wuss and he's being a wimp and all of this and get on with it. I think if your mother's been, you know, was hounded in the way his mother was and then, you know, clearly these... this all these patterns of events led to her dying, of course you're going to be traumatised. Of course you are, and of course you're going to fear that the same could happen to your wife. But I still go back to why, why this in this way? Because I think you're going to lose your family forever. And also I think they're going to lose the hearts, uh, Queen of Hearts was their mother, I think they're going to lose the hearts of people even further. I think they have profoundly misjudged things. Uh, this, and that is different from saying that their story isn't true or that their story is, isn't is their truth. I just don't know. And I do have sympathy if you're always, things are being said about you all the time, mm. 
that aren't true and you have a need to tell your side of the story. Now, everybody I know that works in television or film, including myself, there have been situations where papers have come and said, do you know what? You need to tell your side of the story. And it's not fair. And, you know, they play all those sorts of games. And in the moment that you're angry, in the moment that you're hurt, in the moment you feel the injustice of it, of course you want to say yes. But you always have, hopefully, people around you that say, take a minute, say nothing, don't feel the fight, just take a minute and think about it. And I think too soon out of leaving all the upset that they had here, money came in a huge amount. And I do worry that they're just in this cycle now where they're gonna to have to produce so much content to validate their 110 million. And it's just, it might be a bit of a runaway that's a really, I think you're right. I think that's a really interesting parallel. So what you're saying is this is like a mammoth version of the Daily Mail coming to your door and, and triggering fair. a comment from you because you're in the heat of the moment. Yeah, and I think both well, of them yeah. were very much in the heat in the moment and I can understand that. And I think they have to fund their life. now. If you're in show business and you get offered a deal where you've got all these documentaries included and all these promises about their charity and all of that, you have to be realistic that also you're going to have to deliver the blood. And I think this is the blood moment. The podcast didn't offer the blood, didn't result in the blood. We don't know about the book. So this we, is a prelude to the book. There's blood. There's going to be... There's, one this shot. Is, this can, is where the money is. Can I just say, well, a couple of shots that I think are notable within that one minute, 17 seconds. Um, I'd love to know when the shot was shot of them both in the car turning around to see a car that is inferred as the paparazzi. Because that shot is clearly echoing, paralleling and to invoking mother. his mother. Uh, and to him. But hang on, let's not forget, they have also spoken, William and Harry, about being in the car no, 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 and being no, no, terrified no. as people chase no, them. So, so it's actually Harry's experience as but well, isn't it? That's why I'd like to know when it was shot. I'd like but to does know... it matter? I mean, yeah, somebody yes, might go, might no, go yes, looking now yes, and go, oh, this was from another no, day. No, no, the thing no. is, that's a real experience. No, but I, no, it does matter because, as you know, and we must be naive, scenes and things can be shot to fill in a feeling in mm. a sequence. And so if that was shot... Would have happened yeah, well. they will have happened. But yeah. I just, it's just, it's a curiosity. And then the other shot that I think is very arresting is him with his head in his hands and her pregnant. Um, you know, that, that was a very sort of symbolic image i mean and that william and charles, charles might well and, seen it all mark but you think charles about it. very early on in his reign this is an enormous thing. i mean the queen he's just had to have tampan tampax gate again on the crown <laughs> but the, but when the, everybody the, had forgotten about i mean that. the queen had many annas horribles horribles <laughs> um but she never had to deal with something that was an expose of her family i mean in a so weird this gonna way come out, even if the queen was alive this was well that's, that's a good question happen. that's a good question but on that note you know, both of us work in telly, obviously, and we know that whenever you say anything about anybody, you have to offer the right of reply. And you have mm. to tell those people what you're going to say. Mm. It used to be the way with the papers, not anymore. Mm. It used to be the way. Mm. Don't you think, Mark? Lee, what do you no, think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Maybe it's different in the I States. I don't think Netflix would have allowed that because it would have completely, if that was no, the right case. No, right to reply. Mm. If they're it's naming someone, story. if they were to name someone and said this person said this about yeah, me, if they name them, but maybe they, they don't. Have to have a right but maybe they will, this would have been legal to death. But if they don't give a name, then they're going to leave themselves open to people saying, well, "How do we know it's true?" With Oprah. Absolutely, that was the massive problem with Oprah. Yeah. Hopefully, they read all of that, all those comments around the Oprah mm. thing, you know, and and that people want. It's just human nature. You want to hear both sides of the story. Well, there we go, guys. What do you think?